I just rented out my own personal car on Turo to a stranger that I have no idea how it's going to go. Now, while I am anxious to get my own car on Turo, my only car, I did it for you guys to see if it's worth it. Oh, f they're already gone. By the end of this video, I'll tell you just how much I made and profited on Turo, and I'll tell you my full experience as a Turo host. Turo is a relatively simple service where you can rent out a car from a stranger, or you can rent out your own car to strangers, set your own daily rules, as well as your daily price. For example, when I used Turo to film a video a few months back for three days, it cost me $610. $296.25 for the car itself, and the remaining 300 and some change was all for the young driver fee, insurance, and Turo fees. I mean a young driver fee? Where's the woman driver fee? Now obviously I paid a premium because I'm just 21 years old. But from my Tesla trip, how much did my host get paid? Well if we look here, in this case the Tesla price was $125 a day, but he had a discount where if you rented it for multiple days it dropped to $99 a day. But with Turo it gets a little worse than this. Depending on the insurance plan that you want, they take an additional 20 to 40% of your daily trip fee to cover an array of possible damages. So while I paid $610 for my trip, he might have only seen about $75 a day. While I don't know exactly what his insurance plan was, I can tell you on the highest end it would be $251.81, and on the lowest end he would have made $177.75. If that seems like kind of a low profit to rent out your $50,000 car for a few days to a little kid, aka me, you might be correct. Now this also doesn't take into consideration the wear and tear you might put on your vehicle in the 600 miles that are allowed for a three day trip or 200 miles a day, which could be quite a lot, but in all fairness, most people don't actually use up the entire 200 miles. Now, I was actually considering and still am considering buying a second car for Turo, as my Corolla is my pride and joy. Aww. And also, I can't really go with, you know, not having my car half the month. But after crunching the numbers, it becomes a lot more interesting. More passive income for just owning a second vehicle, I thought. But the thing is, it's not passive income, it's a part-time job. And let me tell you why. And I'm going to explain it right in front of a federal prison to keep my audience retention high. Cleaning the car or even getting it detailed frequently can be expensive and or time consuming. Popped tires, cosmetic damage, customers renting your truck for one day to steal it and use it to illegally traffic drugs to the Mexican border. And yes, that, that actually happened. Generally speaking, your renters are going to treat your car like shit. If your car is your baby or you're emotionally attached to it, this isn't for you or you need another car. In all fairness though, if you get a good deal on a fairly reliable car, how long would it take you to make that money back and start to break a profit? Now here's a 2015 Hyundai I found for 10 grand. Fairly low mileage. Now I'm not a car guy, but I know that's not a terrible deal. And honestly, with Facebook Marketplace or even Craigslist, you could probably find a hell of a lot better of a deal. How much you charge a renter per day Day on your vehicle is going to depend on the market you live in. Now you just need to look and see what other renters are charging for a similar vehicle in your market. For me, my 2018 Toyota Corolla would probably go for about $50. Something for this Hyundai, maybe $40 to $50. With the medium protection plan, Turo takes 25% of your earnings. So if you were to charge $45 a day, the medium protection plan takes 25% and that leaves you with $33.75 a day. Now let's say you rent your car for half the month. That's $506 extra dollars per month. Now, of course, you could rent your car for more than half the month, but I'm going to be generously low with my estimate. With the cost of maintenance, oil changes, and such not being accounted for this, so that would take 19 months to get a return on investment. If you rent it for 20 days of the month, it would take 14 months, and you would get a return on investment in one year at 24 days a month. Now, again, this is generously low, and you could probably find a better deal on a car and get the same return on investment in as low as eight months. And once you do have a return on investment, you have a car that at one point you could sell, but until then you could just rent it out for a daily profit. That is if your renter doesn't total it, but that's why you pay insurance. Because Turo would reimburse you. But back to my car. I rented it out to a nice gentleman whose name I'm not going to try and pronounce. I actually did not even plan for my car to book at the time it did. I was out dashing and I had just set up my account. Okay, I guess someone booked the car. <laughs> I didn't even mean. I had no idea someone would actually book it that freaking quickly. <laughs> oh no. Alright, that's all Alright, so I'm gonna get all my stuff out of this car tonight and get ready for tomorrow when this gentleman picks up my car. So I spent over two hours that night cleaning my car and I think I got it looking pretty good considering I didn't have time to detail it, which I would have done. How's it look? What would you say on a scale of one to 10? 10 out of 10. 
10 out of 10, that's what's up. Another reason it sucks I didn't get time to really fully set up my account is because it used the automatic pricing tool which set my car at $32 a day, which is very low even considering they took 25% of that. Car wash and cleaning products cost me $7.50. And at $32 a day with 75% of that going into my pocket, I, I got to keep $64.50 for three days. Again, this would have been closer to 100 had I actually not lowballed the fuck out of my car. But I didn't care. I was actually very happy because I just wanted to get a good rating. No one else is going to rent this car with no ratings. When he returned the car, it actually looked very good. He didn't damage it. It looked great. He was allowed 600 miles and drove half that at 300 miles. Left me with a full tank of gas. Honestly, pretty happy with it. Uh, that's awkward. This is one of those business models that you're really not going to know how it's going to work for you until you try it. I do recommend doing plenty of research and maybe watching some more experienced Turo hosts before you figure out if this is for you. Anyways, if this video somehow does get 2,000 likes, I will go ahead and buy a second car just for Turo, and I'll give you a much better breakdown of my expenses, my earnings, and honestly, if it's worth it. Peace.